all right guys i just want to make a real quick video now i cannot take credit for this because i found it on jeep forum i believe but um when i put that fuel injection kit on the cj it came with a tack lead so i wired that into one of these real 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 crummy omix aftermarket tacks that actually hesco who makes the fuel injection kit they recommend this tack for use on their fuel injection kit because they say the factory tack won't work so uh, I had my old factory tack from my last CJ and on the write up I found it says if you cut the coil lead wire which is I don't know if you can see this at all that gray wire right there it goes from the ECU right here over to the coil on the other side. It says if you cut that and splice your factory tack in, which are what these wires are right here, and I'm going to do a better job, I was just testing it to see if it worked, that you can run it. Because what this does on the factory CJ, it's hardwired into the ignition system. So the power runs through the tack, and that's how it gets its signal. Which is what the coil wire does for the fuel injection so i wired it in and you can see there's two different colored reds the red solid connects to the wire out of the ecu the red with the white connects to the wire going to the coil and these are just lights but i have the wires down here from the this other crummy tack the Omex ADA tack. The day I bought it, I unscrewed the clamp to put it on, and the other terminal fell down inside of there. So it worked for a while, now it stopped working completely. It didn't do anything at all. So I'm gonna show you this real fast, because I know there's some people with CJs with this kit, because I read a thousand different things about how the factory tack will not work, no matter what. It's impossible. Can't be done, they say. So this other guy, I don't know who he was, but he figured it all out. So, let me show you. Oops. Something's wrong with this thing. Doesn't want to start up right away anymore. There it is. Factory tack is working like a charm. So for all of those with the uh, the Hesco Mopar MPI kit for the 4.2 or any OBD1 4 liter motor. So that'll be 95 and older from a Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, whatever. Cut the solid gray wire coming out of the ECU. There's four different gray wires. They all have tracers except one. Cut the solid gray wire and tap it right in so the power comes out of the ECU goes into the solid red wire on the tack comes out of the red and white wire on the tack and goes to the coil and you'll have a factory tack in your Jeep and you know it's gonna work because it's not junk don't buy the Omix tack no matter what you do do not buy it the factory tack works perfectly this is it alright just wanted to let you guys know and there will be more videos on the 51 Chevy coming up really, really soon.